Hi guys! So I'm super excited to do this next silhouette pour. Um, and my idea was to do a peacock. Because <laughs> they're beautiful regal birds. And so I created this silhouette. I cut it with the Cricut cuttering machine and out of vinyl. And then I first I coated my canvas with Liquidex varnish. Then I put the vinyl down, then I coated the edges with Liquidex varnish to try and seal them. So hopefully we don't get any any leakage underneath. Um, I printed off a bunch of pretty pictures of peacock feathers and peacocks and so you can kind of see. <laughs> My idea was is to have the silhouette and then come down with um, doing acrylic pour over the feathers. So I'm not sure. I'm going to try it two ways. So I'm going to, before I put the silicone in, I'm going to just drop kind of abstract like uh, the colors for the feathers on this one. And then I'm going to let that dry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, the iridescent blue swipe with maybe a clear medium with silicone in it over top and see how that works and then you're not seeing double but I did another canvas here so with the second one I'm actually going to add silicone to the colors drop it the colors in like the feathers and then do the swipe over the wet feathers so I'm going to do a swipe over dry um, feather colors and a swipe over wet feather colors and s just see what kind of difference I get um, if it makes a difference which one turns out cooler you know and for the for the blue head because um, most peacocks have a nice big blue iridescent head so I mixed up some of this really pretty metallic blue for the head of the peacock and then I have a little bit of black mixed up. I've got some sap green mixed with a little bit of black and iridescent medium for the darker green. And then I mixed up this really pretty, this is the new that I got, uh, Pabeo 359. It's iridescent green yellow which is so pretty and super iridescent. <laughs> so I mixed up that for some of the lighter green areas and then for the kind of bronzy area I just mixed up um, Artist Loft metallic bronze. So so none of these have, they have Floetrol in them but they don't have silicone yet because I'm gonna drop in the feathers for this and this one and leave it dry and yeah, and then I'm going to do the wet one after and I'll add the silicone in. So, a couple different ways <laughs> of going about it. Um, so, I'm just going to find my water bottle for the swiping. And I should probably grab a paintbrush just so that I could do some of the feathers. Alright, <laughs> so got the paint brushes, my palette knife. Oh, I'm super excited for this one. <laughs> I like peacocks, they're super pretty. So, okay, so this is going to be kind of abstract feather like, but you know, never hurts. <laughs> so, I think I'll start with some of the Let's see, layers. I'm just looking at the peacock feathers. So this area is mostly like a, a shimmery greens. So let's see if I just... Some dabbing. 
So for each feather, could just pour be some iridescent green in each of those. Okay, so this one, looking pretty good. <laughs> it's not supposed to be realistic, it's just supposed to kind of represent the peacock's tail. So, I'm going to let that dry. And then after this one's dry, then I'm going to do the acrylic swipe on this one with some of the blue and some clear medium, I think. So this is an experiment. <laughs> so that one is the prep work for the acrylic swipe, but I think it's looking pretty good. I think it'll turn out pretty cool. Okay, so here is the second peacock where I was going to try something a little different. And the feathers have dried, so <laughs> this is all dry. Um, so basically, I'm going to do the pour and swipe. Grab some paper towels. But I just wanted to show you what my idea was. I don't know if it's going to work. I have, um, in here I have the blue for doing the swipe. And I'm going to mix up just a clear medium so no paint so that this will show through but then it'll also create webbing hopefully with the blue I don't know if it's gonna work but <laughs> so I'm using liquid X glazing medium and I'm basically going to pour some of that in here <laughs> and then a little bit of flow troll Because they both dry clear, so all right. So here is the glazing medium and the flow troll. I'm just gonna mix them up a bit. So 
So I don't, I didn't put any paint in here, so I'm not, I'm hoping it'll just dry super clear. And that way all of this will show up, but it'll also give a webbing effect with the blue. Here's hoping. <laughs> so it's super runny already. Yeah, just a slight bit of water. Just a little bit. It's looking pretty good. And so the glazing, this medium, um, I'm going to add silicone with it. But the blue has no silicone. So I'm just going to pull that one off. I should have enough from before. I might just add a little bit of water. Just because it thickened up a little bit. So this is just metallic blue that I used for the feather parts. And it's kind of what the body of a peacock is this nice iridescent metallic blue color. So that's looking pretty good. So on this one I'm going to add the silicone. drops. That's all you need. Alright. Push that in there. This might not work. This might work, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to pour it over this area and I'm going to smooth it out and then I'm going to pour the blue up there. So, well, I should get my paper towel ready. I just dampened the paper towel. I'm just going to spread this around. Okay. Now for the blue. Okay. Here goes nothing. Except I kind of want should put the blue all the way to the edge here. I'm going to add a bit more over here. All right. Could be interesting. <laughs> well, I'm getting some cool cells happening, so that's good. I think I might have liked it not so far down, but I don't mind it because they're growing quite large. Let's give it a torch.
think I'll leave it. So I'm really hoping this goes super clear. <laughs> and then all those feathers will show up. Um, it's a, They're supposed to dry clear, so here's hoping. I think I'm going to take a bit of this much paint off. Just because there's quite a bit. Or spread it out maybe. <laughs> it's looking really good. I hope it works. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. I like that so here's hoping <laughs> that it dries super clear and then all the peacock feathers will show through so just a different way of doing it but I'm gonna let this dry and we'll see what happens hi guys so this is now dry and it actually worked with the um, glazing medium <laughs> you can hear my kitty cat uh, with the glazing medium and doing a swipe with the cobalt metallic blue so you can see the glazing medium dried clear but left the webbing of the metallic blue I don't think I like it as much as the first one where we did the swipe but you can kind of see it was cool to try like the difference this could be used in a on something different like maybe like scales for a dragon or something <laughs> I don't know anyways I was gonna pull off the vinyl for this one and whoop, just get that done Pretty easy. So there's the peacock, and um, I ended up changing my mind on this one so on the other video with the bronze, which I love. And now I'm gonna just fix up these edges and go from there. But it's a different technique. I still like it. It's kind of cool. The it's a different webbing like effect. So totally different because I wasn't too sure that this was going to work out with the swipe but it actually did so anyways different way to do a peacock so stay tuned and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done <laughs> 